Welcome to the 2025 North Carolina DMV written test. This test has 60 questions with explained answers to help you prepare for this test. Before we get started, don't forget to jumpstart that like button to keep this channel running. Now here is your DMV instructor to walk you through the questions. Question one, you're driving to an intersection and the signal suddenly turns yellow. What do you do? A, speed up to go through the light. B, stop your car immediately. C, ignore the signal and continue as normal. D, stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. The correct answer is D, stop before entering the intersection if you can do so safely. When the traffic light turns yellow, you should try to stop your car before reaching the intersection if you can do it safely. If you can't stop safely, it's okay to go through the intersection, but be very careful. Question two, what does this sign show you? A, ice cream ahead. B, follow the car in front. C, park your car here. D, side road. The correct answer is D, side road. This sign tells you that there is a side road coming up. It's important to be aware of this when you're driving so you can watch for cars entering or exiting that road. Question three, when should you move to the side of the road and let an emergency vehicle go by? A, regardless of your direction. B, only if you see a police car. C, only if you are in a hurry. D, only if you're near a hospital. The correct answer is A, regardless of your direction. It's important to pull over to the side of the road and allow an emergency vehicle to pass no matter which way you are going. This helps them get to where they need to go quickly and safely. Question four, what should you do if you are in a car crash and someone is hurt? A, run away from the scene. B, shout loudly for help. C, not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. D, try to lift the injured person. The correct answer is C, not move the injured unnecessarily. Keep the injured warm and administer first aid. If someone is injured in an accident, it's important not to move them unless they are in immediate danger. You should also provide first aid if you can and keep them warm while waiting for help to arrive. Question five, what should you do when you're driving in reverse? A, use the rear view mirror only to navigate. B, speed up to get out of the way quickly. C, look through the rear window. D, keep the music volume high for better concentration. The correct answer is C, look through the rear window. When you're backing up, it's important to look through the rear window to see where you're going and make sure it's safe. This helps you avoid hitting anything or anyone behind your car. Question six, when can you go around another car on the road? A, when the car is going too slow. B, when the car is stopped at a red light. C, when the car is turning left. D, none of the above. The correct answer is D, none of the above. You should not pass another car unless it's safe and legal to do so. None of the provided choices is a safe reason to pass a car on the road. Question seven. What should drivers do when they come to a roundabout or rotary island? A, speed up and go through quickly. B, stop and have a picnic. C, close your eyes and hope for the best. D, yield to traffic already in the roundabout. The correct answer is D, Yield to traffic already in the roundabout. When drivers approach a roundabout or rotary island, they should slow down, yield to any cars that are already in the circle, and wait for a safe opportunity to enter the roundabout. This helps keep traffic flowing smoothly and avoids accidents. Question eight. What should you do when a car coming towards you at night has its very bright lights on? A. Look ahead toward the right edge of your lane. B. Close your eyes and hope for the best. C. Speed up and flash your lights. D. Look directly at the bright lights. The correct answer is A. Look ahead toward the right edge of your lane. When a vehicle's high beams blind you at night, it's best to focus on the right side of your lane to avoid the glare. This helps you see the road and stay safe while driving. 
Question nine. When is it okay for a driver to pass a car on the right side? A. Whenever they want. B. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane. C. Only at night. D. While eating a snack. The correct answer is B. If the vehicle is waiting to turn left and there is an available passing lane, it's safe to pass on the right side of another car when it's waiting to turn left, and there's a special lane on the right for passing. This helps keep the traffic flowing smoothly and safely. Question 10. What is the appropriate course of action when your visibility is limited while driving? A. Increase your speed to reach your destination faster. B. Turn on your high beam headlights. C. Slow down and use low beam headlights in poor visibility conditions. D. Close your eyes briefly to rest them. The correct answer is C. Slow down and use low beam headlights in poor visibility conditions. When your visibility is limited while driving, it's important to adjust your driving behavior and take appropriate measures to maintain safety. This may include reducing your speed, increasing following distance, using headlights or fog lights, and being extra cautious in adverse weather conditions or low visibility situations. Ultimately, the goal is to adapt to the conditions and make decisions that ensure the safety of both yourself and other road users. Question 11. What do you need to do when you see this road sign? A. Speed up and pass quickly. B. Stop your car. C. Wait for other cars to stop. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. The correct answer is D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. This road sign tells us that when a green light is showing and cars want to turn left, they need to be careful and let the cars coming from the other direction go first. It helps keep everyone safe on the road. Question 12. Which of these things might make it dangerous to drive and could get you in trouble with the law? A. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. B. Drinking water. C. Eating a healthy meal. D. Watching a movie. The correct answer is A. Controlled substances, such as illegal drugs or prescription medicines. Taking illegal drugs or certain prescription medicines can affect your ability to drive safely and could lead to getting arrested for driving under the influence. It's important to be responsible and avoid these substances before getting behind the wheel. Question 13. When you spot this sign, what should you do? A. Speed up. B. Are approaching a railroad crossing and should prepare to stop. C. Stop at any time. D. Start a race. The correct answer is B. Are approaching a railroad crossing and should prepare to stop. When you see this sign, it means you are nearing a railroad crossing. You should prepare to stop and check for oncoming trains to ensure your safety. Question 14. What does it mean when a driver's left hand is down? A. Stop. B. Turn right. C. Turn left. D. Go faster. The correct answer is A. Stop. When a driver's left hand is down, it's like they're saying stop to let others know they plan to come to a complete stop. This hand signal helps everyone understand what the driver is going to do on the road. Question 15. What's it like to drive at night compared to driving during the day? A. It's less dangerous. B. It's just as dangerous. C. It's more dangerous. D. It's the same. The correct answer is C. It's more dangerous. Driving at night can be more dangerous because it's harder to see and there may be more tired or distracted drivers on the road. It's important to be extra cautious and use your headlights to stay safe. Question 16. How should you respond if the accelerator pedal of your vehicle becomes jammed while you're driving on a crowded road? A. Quickly apply the brakes and stop the car. B. Shift into neutral and steer to a safe area. C. Honk your horn to alert other drivers. D. 
Increase your speed to unjam the pedal. The correct answer is B. Shift into neutral and steer to a safe area. If your car's gas pedal gets stuck, it's important to turn off the ignition to stop the car from going faster. Make sure not to engage the steering wheel locking mechanism as it could make your car harder to control. This helps you stay safe in a potentially dangerous situation. Question 17. What should drivers do when the traffic light is not working? A. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. B. Ignore the intersection. C. Drive really fast. D. Blow the car horn loudly. The correct answer is A. Treat the intersection as a four-way stop. When a traffic light isn't working, drivers need to be extra cautious. They should treat the intersection like a four-way stop, taking turns to go through and making sure it's safe to proceed. This keeps everyone on the road safe. Question 18. How should you respond when you observe an individual holding a flag and guiding traffic within a construction zone? A. Follow the directions given by the flagger. B. Speed up to clear the construction zone quickly. C. Ignore the flagger's instructions and proceed as usual. D. Honk your horn to get the flagger's attention. The correct answer is A. Follow the directions given by the flagger. When you see a flagger in a construction zone, it's important to follow the directions they give you. They're there to help keep traffic flowing smoothly and everyone safe in the work area. Question 19. What does this road sign tell you about what might be ahead on the road? A. A school zone is ahead. B. Bicycle crossing. C. Only bicycles allowed. D. A steep hill is approaching. The correct answer is B. Bicycle crossing. This road sign means that you should be careful because you might come across people riding bicycles on the road. It helps keep everyone safe and aware of others using the road. Question 20. What do pentagonal signs show you? A. Speed limits. B. Railroad crossings. C. No passing zones. D. School zones. The correct answer is D. School zones. Pentagonal signs, the ones with five sides, are used to let drivers know about school zones. When you see this kind of sign, it means you should be extra careful and drive slowly because there might be children around. Question 21. How can you stop cars from crashing into each other? A. Play loud music. B. Follow safe driving practices and obey traffic rules. C. Install more traffic lights. D. Implement strict speed limits. The correct answer is B. Follow safe driving practices and obey traffic rules. To stop cars from crashing into each other, one of the key elements is to encourage safe driving practices. This involves adhering to traffic rules, maintaining safe distances, avoiding distractions, and following speed limits. While infrastructure and traffic management play a role, responsible driver behavior is a critical factor in preventing accidents. Question 22. What should a driver in a small car get ready for when they pass a big vehicle? A. Loud noises. B. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. C. Excess air pollution. D. Falling vehicle parts. The correct answer is B. Wind gusts produced by the large vehicle. When passing a big vehicle, small car drivers should be prepared for the wind gusts that the large vehicle can create. These gusts can affect your car, so it's important to drive carefully and keep a steady hand on the steering wheel. Question 23. When can you have alcoholic drinks in a vehicle while on a public highway? A. Only on weekends. B. When it's really sunny outside. C. When you're with friends. D. Under no circumstances. The correct answer is D. Under no circumstances. It is never allowed to have alcoholic drinks in a vehicle on a public highway. This is a safety rule to prevent accidents and keep everyone on the road safe. Question 24. What should you do if a traffic light is red, but a police officer tells you to keep going through the intersection without stopping? A. Go through the intersection without stopping. B. 
speed up and drive really fast. C. Stop and argue with the police officer. D. Turn off your car and walk away. The correct answer is A. Go through the intersection without stopping. When a police officer tells you to go through a red light, it's important to follow their instructions for safety. They are helping you navigate the intersection without any issues. Question 25. What does the broken yellow line next to a solid yellow line mean? A. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. B. You can only drive backward. C. No passing is allowed. D. It's a special parking zone. The correct answer is A. Passing is permitted from the lane next to the broken yellow line. When you see a broken yellow line beside a solid yellow line, it means you can pass other cars from the lane next to the broken yellow line. Be sure it's safe to do so and follow the rules of the road. Question 26. When do drivers have to wear their seatbelts? A. Only when carrying passengers. B. Only when driving at night. C. At all times. D. Only when driving on highways. The correct answer is C. At all times. Drivers must always wear their seat belts while driving, and not doing so can result in receiving a traffic ticket. Seat belts help keep everyone safe on the road. Question 27. In fog, rain, or snow, which kind of car lights should you use? A. Fog lights only. B. High beams. C. Low beams. D. No lights. The correct answer is C. Low beams. When it's foggy, rainy, or snowy, it's essential to use low beams to make sure you can see the road clearly without blinding other drivers with bright lights. Low beams provide a safe way to drive in these weather conditions. Question 28. What does the posted speed limit tell you? A. The minimum speed you should drive. B. The speed for racing. C. Cannot exceed the speed limit of 25 miles per hour. D. The speed for a school zone. The correct answer is C. Cannot exceed the speed limit of 25 miles per hour. The posted speed limit tells you the fastest and safest speed you should drive on that road when the conditions are perfect. It's important to follow these limits to stay safe while driving. Question 29. What do we mean when we talk about a no zone? A. A zone on a map where no vehicles are permitted. B. A designated quiet zone where no loud music is allowed. C. An area in which you are not allowed to park. D. Blind spots around large vehicles, such as trucks or buses. The correct answer is D. Blind spots around large vehicles, such as trucks or buses. A no zone refers to the area around a large vehicle where the driver may not be able to see other vehicles. It's important for smaller vehicles to avoid these areas to stay safe on the road. Question 30. When is it advisable to signal your intention to overtake another vehicle? A. Immediately before passing the vehicle. B. As you are passing the vehicle. C. When you start changing lanes to pass. D. In advance before changing lanes to pass. The correct answer is D. In advance before changing lanes to pass. It's important to signal your intention to pass another vehicle early enough so that other drivers on the road are aware of your plans. This helps prevent surprises and keeps everyone safe. Question 31. What does this sign tell you about making U-turns? A. You should do a U-turn to go back home. B. U-turns are only allowed on Sundays. C. U-turns are always a good idea. D. U-turns are prohibited. The correct answer is D. U-turns are prohibited. This sign means that making U-turns at this location is not allowed. It's important to follow the rules of the road to ensure safety for all drivers. Question 32. How close to the first rail should drivers stop when they see a sign telling them to stop at a railroad crossing? A. 10 feet. B. 25 feet. 
C, 50 feet. D, 100 feet. The correct answer is C, 50 feet. When you see a sign telling you to stop at a railroad crossing, you should stop about 50 feet away from the first rail. This is important to make sure you have enough space to stay safe in case a train is coming. Question 33. What should you do if you hear a siren while driving but you can't see the emergency vehicle? A. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. B. Cover your ears and close your eyes. C. Speed up and keep going. D. Honk your horn loudly. The correct answer is A. Pull to the curb and look to see if it is on your street. When you hear a siren, it's important to pull over to the side of the road and check if the emergency vehicle is coming on your street. This helps them pass safely and quickly, and it's a good way to be helpful and safe. Question 34. In what situation should you not point your wheels straight ahead? A. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. B. When you're in a parade. C. When parked at home. D. When you're racing other cars. The correct answer is A. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway. When parked on a hill or sloping driveway, it's a good idea to turn your wheels so that if your vehicle starts rolling, it will hit the curb or go off the road rather than moving into traffic. This helps prevent accidents and keeps your car and others safe. Question 35. When the traffic light changes from green to solid yellow as you approach an intersection, you should A. Speed up and accelerate through the intersection. B. Maintain your speed and continue through the intersection. C. Slow down and prepare to stop if it's safe to do so. D. Honk your horn to warn other drivers. The correct answer is C. Slow down and prepare to stop if it's safe to do so. When the traffic light turns from green to yellow, it's a sign to slow down and prepare to stop before the intersection, unless you're so close that stopping would be unsafe. This helps prevent accidents and keeps traffic moving safely. Question 36. What's the safest way to pass a bicyclist when you see them on a road without bicycle lanes? A. Slow down and wait until there is no traffic approaching. Then pass the bicyclist while leaving him or her sufficient space. B. Speed past the bicyclist as quickly as possible. C. Drive very close to the bicyclist. D. Honk your horn loudly to let the bicyclist know you're coming. The correct answer is A. Slow down and wait until there is no traffic approaching, then pass the bicyclist while leaving him or her sufficient space. To safely pass a bicyclist on a road without bicycle lanes, it's best to slow down, wait for oncoming traffic to clear, and then pass the bicyclist while leaving enough space to keep both you and the bicyclist safe. This helps prevent accidents and ensures everyone can share the road comfortably. Question 37. What should drivers do when they see a yellow light flashing? A. Speed up as fast as possible. B. Close their eyes and keep driving. C. Stop immediately. D. Slow down and proceed with caution. The correct answer is D. Slow down and proceed with caution. When approaching a flashing yellow light, drivers should reduce their speed and be cautious as they approach the intersection. It signals that they should be prepared to slow down or stop if necessary. Question 38. What's something important to do when you want to change lanes? A. Speed up and squeeze in. B. Wave to other drivers. C. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. D. Close your eyes and hope for the best. The correct answer is C. Signal at least 500 feet before your lane change when driving on residential streets. When you want to change lanes, it's a good idea to use your turn signal to let other drivers know your plans, especially on residential streets. Signaling helps everyone on the road understand your intentions 
and keeps traffic flowing safely. Question 39. What should you do if a person is walking across the road and there's no special place for them to cross? A. Honk your horn and keep going. B. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. C. Close your eyes and keep driving. D. Drive around them quickly. The correct answer is B. Stop and let the pedestrian finish crossing. If you see a pedestrian crossing the road without a crosswalk, it's important to stop and wait for them to safely reach the other side. This helps keep them safe and follows the rules of the road. Question 40. What kind of signs are orange in color? A. Signs for your birthday party. B. Signs for the ice cream truck. C. Work zone signs. D. Signs for a dance party. The correct answer is C. Work zone signs. Orange signs are used for work zones, and they help drivers know when they are approaching a construction area on the road. These signs are important for safety and to let drivers know about road work ahead. Question 41. What does this sign tell you to do? A. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. B. Speed up to merge with oncoming traffic. C. Ignore oncoming traffic and continue driving. D. Yield to pedestrians before crossing. The correct answer is A. Let cross traffic pass before proceeding. When you see this sign, it's a reminder to be patient and allow the cars from the other road to go first before you continue driving. This keeps everyone safe at the intersection. Question 42. What should you do when you see a driver who is acting angry and not driving safely? A. Yell back at them. B. Avoid eye contact, slow down, and let them pass. C. Challenge them to a race. D. Drive even faster. The correct answer is B. Avoid eye contact, slow down, and let them pass. When you come across an aggressive driver, it's a good idea to avoid making eye contact, slow down, and allow them to pass safely to avoid any confrontations and stay safe on the road. Question 43. What should you do when you see roadwork signs? A. Increase your speed to avoid delays. B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. C. Proceed at the same speed as normal. D. Ignore the roadwork signs. The correct answer is B. Reduce your speed and be prepared to stop suddenly. When you drive through a work zone, you should slow down and be ready to stop if needed. This keeps you, the workers, and other drivers safe while construction is happening on the road. Question 44. What can drivers do when they see a traffic signal showing a flashing yellow arrow? A. Stop and have a picnic. B. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. C. Speed up and drive faster. D. Wave to the traffic signal. The correct answer is B may turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. When you come across a traffic signal displaying a flashing yellow arrow, you can turn left after making sure it's safe by yielding to oncoming cars and people walking across the road. This helps keep everyone on the road safe. Question 45. What do the yellow lines in the middle of the road mean? A. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roads. B. It's a bike lane. C. Traffic moving in the same direction on one-way roads. D. It's a place to park. The correct answer is A. Traffic moving in opposite directions on two-way roads. When you see yellow lines on the road, it means that traffic on one side is going one way and traffic on the other side is going the opposite way. These lines help keep cars safe and prevent accidents. Question 46. What happens when two cars get to a four-way stop at the same time? A. They should race to see who goes first. B. The driver to arrive first has the right of way. C. The car with the loudest horn goes first. D. They should stop and have a picnic. The correct answer is B. The driver to arrive first has the right of way. When two cars get to a four-way stop at the same time, the car that got there first gets to go first. 
It's a fair way to decide who moves, and it keeps traffic flowing smoothly. Question 47. What does a broken yellow line in the middle of the road mean? A. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. B. Passing is not permitted. C. Overtaking permitted. D. One-way traffic. The correct answer is A. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. A broken yellow center line means you can pass other vehicles on the left side as long as it's safe and there are no oncoming cars. It's like a signal that you can go around slower traffic when it's safe to do so. Question 48. What's a good rule to follow when you want to pass another car on the road? A. Drive with the flow of traffic and pass only as needed. B. Drive as close as possible. C. Honk loudly. D. Close your eyes and go for it. The correct answer is A. Drive with the flow of traffic and pass only as needed. When passing another car, it's important to do it safely and only when necessary, while keeping up with the speed of other vehicles on the road. This helps maintain a smooth and safe flow of traffic. Question 49. What can make it harder for your car to stop? A. Worn out brake pads. B. Rain slicked roads. C. Low tire pressure. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Multiple factors can contribute to making it more challenging for a car to stop, including worn out brake pads, rain slicked roads, and low tire pressure. When these conditions coincide, they collectively diminish the efficiency of braking systems, posing a significant risk to the vehicle's ability to stop promptly. Question 50. What can make it harder to stop your car and cause more serious crashes? A. Driving safely. B. High speeds. C. Keeping two hands on the steering wheel. D. Driving the speed limit. The correct answer is B. High speeds. Driving at high speeds greatly increases the distance your car needs to stop and it can make accidents more severe. It's important to follow speed limits and drive at safe speeds to stay in control of your vehicle. Question 51. What can you do to stop cars from bumping into your back? A. Play loud music. B. Before stopping, check your mirrors and blind spots for traffic. C. Close your eyes. D. Blow your horn. The correct answer is B. Before stopping, check your mirrors and blind spots for traffic. To avoid cars hitting you from behind, it's important to check your mirrors and blind spots before coming to a stop. This helps you be aware of the traffic around you and avoid rear-end collisions. Question 52. If someone gets in trouble for driving after drinking alcohol for the first time, what could happen to them? A. Get a ticket. B. Go to the park. C. Eat ice cream. D. A fine, community service, jail time, DUI school, license revocation, and an ignition interlock device. The correct answer is D. A fine, community service, jail time, DUI school, license revocation, and an ignition interlock device. If you're caught driving after drinking alcohol for the first time, you might have to do different things like pay a fine, do community service, or even go to a special school to learn more about driving safely. You won't be able to drive for a while, and you might need a special device in your car to keep you from starting it if you've been drinking. Question 53. What could happen if you can't show that you have the right amount of insurance? A. You'll get a reward. B. Nothing will happen. C. Have your license and plate suspended for up to three years. D. You'll get a discount on your insurance. The correct answer is C. Have your license and plate suspended for up to three years. If you're supposed to have more insurance coverage but can't prove it, you could lose your license and plates for a while. It's important to follow the rules and have the right insurance to drive safely. Question 54. How should you respond when you notice other drivers displaying road rage? A. Engage in aggressive behavior to assert dominance. B. 
ignore their behavior and continue driving as usual. C. Avoid eye contact and maintain a safe distance. D. Honk your horn and gesture to express your frustration. The correct answer is C. Avoid eye contact and maintain a safe distance. When you see other drivers getting angry, it's best not to react with hand gestures or get angry back. Stay calm and focus on your driving to avoid road rage and keep everyone safe. Question 55. Where should you drive when you're getting ready to make a left turn from a two-way street? A. Near the center line. B. As close to the sidewalk as possible. C. Near the edge of the road. D. As far to the right as possible. The correct answer is A. Near the center line. When you're about to make a left turn from a two-way street, it's a good idea to drive near the center line to ensure you make a safe and smooth turn. This helps you avoid getting too close to the right side of the road and keeps you clear of any oncoming traffic. Question 56. What's the right way to change lanes when you're on the highway? A. Close your eyes and switch lanes. B. Blow your horn loudly. C. Stop in the middle of the highway. D. Signal. Check mirrors and check blind spots before changing lanes. The correct answer is D. Signal. Check mirrors and check blind spots before changing lanes. To change lanes safely on the interstate, it's important to signal your intentions, check your mirrors, and look over your shoulder to check your blind spots. This helps you avoid colliding with other vehicles and keeps the road safe. Question 57. What shape is a stop sign? A. Octagon. B. Triangle. C. Square. D. Circle. The correct answer is A. Octagon. A stop sign is shaped like an octagon, which means it has eight sides. When you see this shape on the road, it means you must come to a complete stop before continuing. Question 58. What potential consequences may arise from consuming alcohol while on prescription medication? A. Reduced medication effectiveness and increased risk of side effects. B. Enhanced medication potency and faster symptom relief. C. Improved concentration and alertness. D. Decreased risk of interactions with prescription drugs. The correct answer is A. Reduced medication effectiveness and increased risk of side effects. Combining alcohol with a prescription drug can have a harmful effect and make you unable to drive safely. It's important to follow your doctor's advice and avoid drinking alcohol when taking medication. Question 59. What should you do when you see a flashing yellow light at an intersection? A. Stop and wait for a green light. B. Speed up and drive quickly. C. Make a U-turn. D. Drive carefully through the intersection. The correct answer is D. Drive carefully through the intersection. When you see a flashing yellow light, it means you should be cautious and continue through the intersection safely, making sure to watch for other cars or pedestrians. Question 60. What does this sign on the road tell you about what's coming up? A. The maximum speed limit. B. The overpass ahead has a low clearance. C. The number of lanes on the road. D. The distance to the nearest gas station. The correct answer is B. The overpass ahead has a low clearance. This sign warns drivers that there's a bridge or overpass up ahead with not much space, so taller vehicles should be careful and make sure they can fit underneath it. Safety is important on the road. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click this link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on the first try. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you still need more practice, then check out these videos or click this link right here to get your cheat sheet, which will help you pass your DMV exam on the first try.